Well, good morning, everybody. Welcome to Allen Family Firewood again. As you can <laughs> see in the, the earlier clip there, we were up to McCann Fabrication. We got some of these steak pockets, a whole other batch of those. Because it's time to build pallets again, because... We're out of them. Yeah, we are. <laughs> <laughs> and you can't split firewood unless you got pallets. At nope. least not around here, because we don't throw wood on the ground. That's <laughs> no. just... Well, not going to happen. Not as a rule. Sometimes no, we have to. No. <laughs> uh, the other video, that, well, it was the last video you guys see us. We went and got all those loads of free wood, and there was a whole bunch of hemlock. And that's what this right here is. All these two-by-fours, these are the, the pieces that go in between the top and the bottom on the pallets. So... I sawed out all of that hemlock. I mean, yeah. I sawed every stick of that, and that's pretty much what I got for two by fours. Is what what you see right there. It's probably enough to build yeah, thirty five or forty pallets. We typically only do twenty at a time though, because the stacks are that high to get out of the garage. Yeah, yeah but, we can only build well, twenty at a time and, and get, get them out, out of here because yeah, they won't fit out through the door. So. So but you got the sawmill fixed okay to... I did. I did. That was... It actually went together easier than it came apart. <laughs> Go figure. <laughs> really? Me and my mechanical <laughs> skills, but... And it worked afterwards. I only had like two screws and one orange piece of metal left over. I don't know where it went, but <laughs> the sawmill works just fine, so... Hopefully we um, don't find out. No, I'm going to roll with it, but... Spare parts is never yeah. good. Yeah. I also sawed out mm. some other pine, and you can see all the different pieces and parts. This is all the deck boards that go on the top and the bottom. These are all six foot long. These are all the, the side boards that'll have a, a hole drilled with a rope going across. And I've already got a bunch of those made because I had some extra pieces in here before. Yeah. So, yeah. but this, it, it's a week long event, guys, to build just a couple dozen pallets for us. Timing. Yeah, between sawing all the lumber, cutting yeah. all the parts. Getting them in here, making the pieces, getting them stacked up, and then actually building them. A week. Yeah, it's, it's a good, honest week to do 25 or 30 of them, I would say. Yeah. I mean, I think we can build 20 pretty easy today. You just goofing off and. Yeah. It's. Geez, it's almost noon now, probably. I don't think it's that late, but no, it's not bright and early. <laughs> no, no, it's probably at least 1030. I don't know. Yeah. But I don't know. I mean, that's you guys have all seen us build pallets so many times. Oh, yeah, times. this is just for newer yeah. people. We're yeah. going to do a quick. It's, we're just going to skip through, show some process. of the basic points of it. Um, it's probably going to be a two-day video. Yeah, but this is all we're doing today because it's rainy and crappy, and yeah. we need pallets before we can split wood anyway, so. Right, right, and the trail is full again. <laughs> well, I gave I you did. the day off yesterday, so guess yeah, what I did? Well, I split wood. I did get the other trailer that was over full, yep. stacked, and the pallet of the ugly stacked. But, but it, actually, it almost works out better by you doing it that way because... One, I get the day off. <laughs> and two, it's more fluid when we're actually stacking and splitting and stacking because yeah. I don't get ahead of you. And I'm trying to split so fast yeah. to keep up with you stacking. That, that way I have plenty of wood always in the trailer to keep just keep filling pallets. It's, it's so. better to have a head stop. And I get a day off, so <laughs> works for me. <laughs> but I actually split more than a trailer full yesterday because you left me, like, I think, the last time you stacked was you the, left me like a little over half a pallet full yeah. of wood behind the trailer. Yeah, there so. was a little left in one row to be stacked. Well, no, not anymore. I you split stacked? yesterday and I, I, I shouldn't even say that on, <laughs> on here. This is uh, happening. Yeah, oh, I did. Yeah. I stacked. I did. My <laughs> back was killing me splitting, so it's nice to take a break every now and then and do something and... There wasn't anything else to do other than stack wood, so that's what I did, and it let me split more wood, so oh, God. that's the name of the game. We all want to split uh, wood all the time, yeah. but we have to stop and stack, 
cut wood and make pallets and go get wood. All and, the things. Yeah. But, but let's we ought to get to building. Yeah, time's pallets, a wasting. Because yeah, the wood stove's running. It's nice and toasty in here. So Perfect. Yeah, Away we go. Wet and nasty outside, but oh, the other good thing. And we'll show that to you tomorrow when we do the splitting. The second half of this video is going to be splitting. When I sawed out all this stuff, I had some nice thick pine slabs from, because the sideboards and the deck boards are all pine. And I did make some nice thick slabs and I got those all cut up 16 inch. Those are all in a pile. So we'll run those through the splitter probably first thing tomorrow. Yeah, I get through that. Mm -hmm. And I did. Geez, probably two forkfuls of edgings off on all of these slabs to bring in here and make more kindling. So that'll keep me busy for three or four nights worth of making kindling in here. But yeah. Part of the process. Oh yeah. <laughs> all right, let's get making these. All right. <laughs> let's chuck this out of the way. Make that here. Slight, slight delay here. Interruption. <laughs> a little bit. The uh, the nailing gun that I've been using, it, it just stopped shooting nails. It blew well, a bolt out of it. <laughs> yeah, it, yeah, it bolt come out and hit me on the on the bottom here. Maybe we'll do a close up, but there's four four big bolts and two of them are sheared right off, <laughs> just from the air pressure, I'd say. And there was a plastic thing that fell off like half an hour ago, but yeah. <laughs> it, it's a Harbor Freight hundred dollar nailing gun. So kind of expected it not to hold up, but yeah, it's, it's life came to an end today. It's done. It's done Probably a lot hundred, of couple hundred pallets. Sure has. So, so instead of stopping production altogether, Phil stayed and limped along with that one. And I ran over to Harbor Freight and bought yeah. another one. Same thing. <laughs> I got the two-year extended warranty on it, though, this time. Oh, it's, it's yeah. It was cheap, so, so well worth 20, it. 20, 30 bucks, 28 bucks. Yeah. <laughs> That's worth it because we know it's not going to last. Right. So. so as much as we use it. Yeah, yeah. But uh, while I was there, I also uh, just wanted to mention I ran into one of our subscribers, David Brown, who was in oh. line and ahead of me. And uh, hi, David. <laughs> <laughs> got That's to cool. Yeah, it was. Got to uh. chat with him while I was standing there in line. That was nice. Yeah. And uh, we had actually also run into him at uh, Freiburg Fair last year when we were there. So that was yep. pretty cool seeing him twice. But uh, it was good to chat with you, David. Well, I <laughs> Just wanted get, to mention that. I want to get this thing apart. And... So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We've got eight pallets done so far. So we've got 12 to go. Well, all kinds of pieces and pots coming with it. <laughs> Oh, Allen wrenches. I needed them when that jammed up the other day, and yeah. I didn't have them for yeah, the last time. Yeah, now we have them. Oh. 
There you that. go. Brandy new one. Brandy new and same thing, but all newer. the bolts are in it. Good deal. <laughs> <laughs> nice. You just throw. Just throw. Well, yeah. What else do you do with it? <laughs> all right. Let's get things back. Back to, to work. Back together and <laughs> back building pallets because. Yeah. Time's a waste. Of we're not even halfway there yet, and the day's pretty well gone. That well, that slowed production down. Yeah. Well, we're huge. we're used to that kind of stuff, so. Yep. Here we go. All right. <laughs> Okay, day two. Yeah. We <laughs> accomplished getting the 20 pallet pallets made. <laughs> we we did. A few hiccups involved. <laughs> a little technical difficulty with yeah. the nailing gun, but. Yeah, we got through it. We, we got did it done. It. Took, Took us a... till almost eight o'clock last night, but we did it. We did it. So <laughs> that's the first thing we got to do this morning. We got to go get those out of the garage. Yep. Get them out here. Uh, Why the trail is out. I've got all those slabs that are for kindling. Those models will go back on the trail and go back in the garage so that yep. along with making sideboards in the evening, I can also <laughs> make kindling in the evening because I don't see any rain coming. No. Not this week. No. We get that done. We've got all of these chunks here from the slabs that I've already, that I cut up from all that hemlock the other day and yep. this pine there so we'll get those loaded in the trailer along with some more rounds and get split those cotton and splitting <laughs> again more pine <laughs> you got to move that full pallet behind the stacking trailer i do that's full and the trail is full too yep. so i got a good head start on you i know <laughs> you're going to be busy stacking today I know. <laughs> but yeah, I gotta go take the rock bucket off the the tractor first, and we'll we'll make everything we'll happen everything. here. And <laughs> it's gonna be a busy day. <laughs> Let's get but, those things knocked out yeah. of the way first. And we'll get everything up and running, and get busting some wood. <laughs> All right, let's get after it.
All right, I figured I'd take a minute and talk about this. As you can see, I'm, I'm peeling the bark off of all of these splits because all the pine that we're going to do this year is all going to be barkless. We tried this last year and we got a lot of crap for it because <laughs> nobody up here takes the bark off of it. They just split it and bag it, bundle it, do what they do. But you know what, we, we pick up all these pallets and we bring them in the shop and that's where we bag them. And after the wood's dried, when we're bagging it, all the bark just falls off and it's, it's all over the floor in there. And when you bag up five or 600 bags, you'll get a couple yards at least of bark all over the floor. It just makes a mess. It doesn't shovel up or clean up good, so it's easier to make the mess out here and I can just throw it off to the side. So that's going to be the plan going forward is to make everything barkless or I guess as Jake over to Dude Ranch DIY says, boneless and skinless. <laughs> so yeah, and, and all the stuff we've done this year has been that way and, and it's going to be that way going forward. So I just thought I'd take a minute and, and share that with you because I get it, nobody else does it that way, but hey, we like to be different, and so far it's worked for us, so we're going to stay with it. <laughs> All right, I'm going to get back to splitting.
Uh, all right. Well, we were going to wrap this up, but someone put Kinlan making in the video title, right? Free logs make pallets, firewood, yeah, I know. and kindling. Yeah, so... And we're kind of focused on the kindling right now, so... Yeah, so... <laughs> we only got a cord split today, right? A cord stacked. Well, cord stacked. I'm going to say there's more over there split. Nothing but. crazy. <laughs> no, so I guess we're going inside now to make kindling. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go inside, you guys, and go make some kindling. <laughs> How'd you get mud on your face? I don't know. How'd you get mud on your face? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. They'll have to stick around to the bonus footage at the end, right? <laughs> Let's, Let's go make kindling. Yeah, we better go do that. All right, everyone. I think we're gonna call this a, a wrap. Yeah. Well, <laughs> of or, our couple days of. Yeah, or at least you're gonna do. you're gonna head home and. Yeah, I'm gonna go get cleaned up. Yeah, you're a mess. You got <laughs> mud all over you. Yeah, listen to you. <laughs> okay. Well, yeah, we got a lot done in two days. I think. I yeah, mean, I got all those pallets built. Finally, thankfully. Yeah, fix the nail and gun issue. Yeah. Just a brand new one. That solved that problem. Yeah. And we got all the kindling slabs in here so that I can yeah. stay tonight and keep banging out some more kindling. So. Got a cord stacked. Yeah, we did get that done. But it's all That's set up. So we bad. got the pallets we need now and we can go at it. I got rid of that pile of slabs that was out there. That got turned into camp wood today too. So yeah, yeah. that worked out good. That freed up another space to put some more more wood on pallets. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, but, but we're not going to make you watch us do kindling. No, no. So no, I'll just stay here and <laughs> keep puttering away tonight. And Brush off before you come home. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's kind of whatever. <laughs> yeah. All right, you guys, we're going to let you go, and uh, I guess we'll catch them on the next one, right? We will. <laughs> Thanks for watching. All right. Bye. Bye. Wow, this mud is really bad. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's Ugh. it's pretty soupy out here. I hope like, it dries up soon because this is just getting deeper and deeper. Oh, yeah, it's, it's wicked bad. Well. Although Dono commented and said that we could uh, hold mud wrestling events back here and bring in yeah. some extra cash. Hey, I'm all for it. Why not? Really? You going to get in the mud? Well, I don't know. I'll wrestle with you. Let's do it. Well, have at it. You come over here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, let's see if I can. Wow, it is yuck. Yeah, it's 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 good and it's it's good and good and <laughs> No, <laughs> don't you do it. Don't! Oh my god, you got me dirty, you f <laughs> Okay, that's enough. <laughs> that is uncalled for. You got my shirt dirty, my shirt's never dirty. <laughs> Oh my god! Oh, look at you. You don't even care. I don't care. It's just mud. Oh my god. Come here. What? Come here, quick. Oh, hey! What? <laughs> All right. Back to work. Yeah, yeah. All right. The water's too cold to wrestle in anyway. Yeah. All right. Let's go. All right. Dance. What a goopy mess. Jeez. Well, so much for that. We wasn't going to mud wrestle, but then she 
after she shut the camera off, she put the mud to me, so. <laughs> well, he got my shirt dirty, so my shirt is not supposed to be dirty. Cut it out. <laughs> We need to get back to work. She put the mud right to me, guys. I'm telling you. So. You don't look any different than you do every other day. Well, I, <laughs> I think I got you pretty good, so. Lovely. Yeah. All right, we're going back to work now. We'll play rough. I'm going to play rough. Whatever. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, we got to go get something done today. I still got mud, like, coming out my shirt. I think I do, too. Jesus. Wow. All right, let's go get something done.